Good morning, guys. So a little update for today. We just anchored outside of the BVI's road town at around about 5.30 this morning. Passage from St. Bart's to here was a little bit swelly, but the crew survived and we're all good. The plan for today is in around about half an hour to an hour, Corey's gonna come back with the passports and then we're gonna shoot off to North Sound in the BVI's where we're gonna give the guests a really cool tour of Necker Island, which is owned by Sir Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. So that's gonna be really cool. We're gonna check that out and uh, take you guys along with us. So yeah. This is how quick the weather can turn down here. Check this out. It's blowing a little over 35 knots right now. Wipers are going, sideways rain. I've got the radars spooled up to avoid collision. Can't really see too much ahead of me, but um, so we've slowed down a little bit to maintain that safe speed. Hopefully this just burns off as the day warms up, but right now it's pretty windy and rainy, so let's hope it gets a bit better. As you can see outside, the viz is pretty horrible right now. I've maybe got about a half a mile, quarter mile, so I've slowed right down. We're doing 13 knots of boat speed. But as you can see, we've got this little guy in front of us, right on the bow. So I've got the ARPA target. You can see we have almost a collision course with him in three minutes. And I still visually can't see him. Okay, crisis averted. We managed to avoid that vessel. Let's keep going to North Sound. Steve, why don't you go downstairs and check on Courtney? Good morning, Courtney. Hello. <laughs> How was your morning? Uh, morning has been really good. It's been pretty chilled compared to the other few mornings. I think we finally got the hang of all the different preferences and everything. But no, it's been good. It's been a bit rainy. How so. was your night last night? Bumpy? Oh. Rock to bed like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> True seafarer. <laughs> no, it was bumpy. I only know that because uh, we had a few breakages. Don't mm. tell Paul. Yeah, one of our vases and our vase cupboard fell over and there were a few a few losses. But anyway, no all okay. Mind. Nothing too too bad. Okay. Hello, good morning, Steve. Hello, Nina. How are you doing? Good. Welcome to me and my bowl of raw marinated peanut satay chicken. How did you sleep last night? Like I was all good. I actually slept through it. Yeah, completely. Yeah, Didn't woke up, chef came in, he's like, the cheese fell in the fridge. I was, like, I was fine. Although I did stow the galley properly. I did go probably a bit overboard up here. Obviously didn't stow the cheese very well though, but yeah, wasn't too bad. Cool. Good morning, yeah, Tyler. Man, How are you morning. doing? Man, I'm, uh, I'm a little tired, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little tired. Um, How was, um, was your night last night? Was it a bit... Did you sleep well? Or? I was up a few times, I must say. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I got up quite a few times, uh, maybe one o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock yeah. again. But then I was up on watch, so front four, watch. So. Up four, yeah, exactly yeah. that. Yeah, man, but it was a bit bumpy. And you, how did you sleep? Yeah, not bad. I mean, I, I found that I had to sleep on my side, and I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't sleep on my, on my back, so I kind of was like rolling around, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Got through it yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. There yeah. we go. Nice, yeah, man. What are you up to now? Now I'm just coming to check that we are all good and secure. I just put out two anchors, um, so that's why I'm a little bit dirty. Um, in the I'm, anchor locker. In the anchor locker, yeah. rinsing it down in, on, in my whites. Yeah. Not the best <laughs> idea. Not the best idea. And then we're going to get the boat ready, um, get the guests over to um, to Sir Richard Branson's island, and yeah. they're going to go do a little tour. So that's going to be gonna awesome. be really cool, man. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait to take you guys along. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so we have arrived here in North Sound Bay. It's absolutely stunning. A little bit windy, but uh, it's so beautiful. This is the first time for me, and uh, yeah, I'm absolutely blown away by it. Okay, so we've just arrived in Necker Island. We're gonna go do a tour. So we're gonna go down the red dock here and go check out the lemurs. Come, let's go. So here on Necker Island, Richard Branson was all about conservation. So he has all of these cool animals like the lemurs, which are absolutely stunning. Apart from the lemurs, there are also many, many other cool exotic animals. For example, check this parrot out. Hey buddy. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, what? Hello. 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 So it's fun as all the animals are here in Necker. This guy's always my favorite. It makes me feel like we're at home. The Australian, the Australian cockatoo. 
This guy's awesome, Charlie. He likes to talk to us. He says hello and he says all other kinds of words. And uh, he, there we go. We're gonna, he's gonna dance with me, Charlie? No. Uh, not today. So we just had like a two to five minute hike just up to the top. There's this beautiful, massive house up here and it's absolutely stunning. So we're here on the villa on the top of the island looking over everything. It's absolutely stunning. So one of the really cool things that are always is cool to me being a kite surfer, about a year or two ago, Nick Jacobson jumped off of the roof of here up the top of the great house. And then he, what he did is he jumped, he was sitting right here, and then he jumped and landed all the way down there absolutely incredible to me that he was able to do that. Maybe one day I'll, I'll grow the nerves to try it, but definitely not today. What an awesome tour of Necker Island that was. Thank you so much to Sir Richard Branson and all the staff, the lemurs, the turtles, the big house, the great house, Bali High, such an awesome tour. All right, guys, we've got to get back to Loon. Let's go. Look at this little boy. Look at I'm how keen. Look at this one over here. No, yes, I, 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 so what I, we should do is maybe we should send them both to, to Courtney. <laughs> and you guys can go and explain oh. why. What a beer contest! Like. It's impossible to get the different. It's, it's impossible <laughs> not to get the stuff on you. It's like because you, you put it on. He's going to rip you guys apart. Ah, but it's, <laughs> this one thing comes off. He's going to come out. What is it? It's uh, a okay. calcium calcifier. Uh, we did all the maybe, windows. Maybe maybe next time you guys get dirty, yeah. you should maybe change clothes first. Just on the side. Yeah. What are we going to wear? Nothing. <laughs> All right, good morning. We've just picked up anchor and we are headed out of here. We've just departed North Sound. We're going to run down the San Francis Drake Channel, head off for the baths, go do the walk around the baths and get that in, tick that off the list for the BVIs. And then later today, we're going to cruise over to Joost van Dijk, go have a soggy dollar, a painkiller there. That's going to be about the day. Okay, guys, so quick little update. The guests are just about to go over to the baths to check out all the awesome, cool rock formations. And uh, yeah, let's take you guys along and uh, let's see it. So just here is where we will be Exploring and uh, yeah, going through. Okay, guys, here we are at the baths. An absolutely beautiful destination to be, as you can see, the beautiful beach behind me. So, a quick fact about these rocks these were formed millions of years ago and they are actually granite, granite rock, and have been molded over time to. Uh, to be smoothed out and have these beautiful formations and look the way they do. Okay, so we are fully inside the rock formation now. It's quite dark. Um, just gotta catch up with the rest of the group. So here we are in the heart of the baths. Super cool, super spacious. These rocks are enormous. That's the swamp water. Okay, so we just picked up anchor from the baths. Got Bjorn in the bridge with me. Bjorn's actually got the con right now. So he's gonna drive us down the St. Francis Drake channel here. All the guests, they've gone ashore. So Stephen and Tyler, and who else? I think Corey's with them. They're all doing the baths with the guests right now. And then we're gonna keep moving Loon. Loon's gonna run all the way down to Joost van Dyke. As Loon only moves at about 12 knots, what are we doing right now? We're doing 11.4 knots, so even a little bit slower. And the HCB does a little over 40 knots. It's easier sometimes to get Loon, keep on trucking, and then they can catch up easily when they're finished with the excursion. So they're not wasting time during the day as we relocate to the next island. So it should work out pretty evenly that as we arrive at Joost van Dyke, the tender should be pulling in, they can have lunch, and then straight to Soggy Dollar for a painkiller. So we've just finished the passage, going from one side of the beach to the other, going through these awesome giant rock formations. Yeah, glad to be out.
can get a little bit claustrophobic. So the HCB has just caught up to us. We're now in Sopa's Hole, which is on the west end of Tortola. So Steve, Tyler, and all the guests are gonna get on board now. We're gonna do a quick pit stop. They're gonna come alongside, and then we're gonna continue on to Joost van Dijk. About another 45 minutes of cruising, and then time for that painkiller. All right, we just left Joost van Dijk, but check this out. Let's go take you guys outside. Steve, what you doing down there, mate? Flying the drone. Check this out. HCB right alongside us. So we got such a nice sunset this evening, we figured we'd get some great shots of both the boat and the tender running parallel with each other. So, uh, wow, look at that. Insert the high-res version here. Yeah. Can't see it from here, but I bet you the look of concentration on Tristan's face right now is like this. Yeah, he just passed his yacht master a couple of weeks ago. And we've already thrown him in the 53 and he's running all over the BBIs with it. And uh, he, he's fighting the other boys to get in there. So this is a good opportunity for him to do some position driving. Good evening, good evening from the galley. It is 15 past seven and we have dinner at eight. I am doing kind of a Japanese style buffet and we have got a little bit of sushi. So we've got avocado sushi, spicy tuna, and we've got some salmon donburi bowls and what else we got? Amongst other things. Oh, we've got some bao as well. Some, yeah. Nice. Some beef bao. Yeah, I, I do love a bao. Yeah, a bit of a busy one this evening, but it's fun to mix it up sometimes. Okay guys, so a bit of an evening update. It's currently half past nine. The guests are all in the back, relaxing, you know, having a good time. So we ended up just anchoring here in Gordon's Key because it was too dark to be able to do the stern tie. It was kind of a bit sketchy, it was windy. You couldn't actually see the rocks that we would have tied up to. So we decided to make the call that it would be way better to do it in the morning. So yeah, it'd be a lot better to get the shots for you guys because it would just look a lot better. Show you guys the stern tie tomorrow morning and uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna end this video here. This is part two of a three-part series for this charter video, so please come back next week for the final installment. Also guys, remember Steve is learning, so please be patient with him as he brings the standard of Loon's videos up and even surpasses where we were before, so please leave nice comments down below for Steve to read. And lastly, if you haven't already, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next week. <laughs>